Good morning. So today we shall study the Kevin's theorem. We have said that if we want to analyze a simple network, it can be analyzed by using the Ohm's law or by using the Kirchhoff's laws. But if we are interested to analyze the complicated network, the application of the Kirchhoff's laws becomes a tedious process, it is a lengthy process. So, with the ease, if we are interested to analyze the complicated networks, we need to make use of these theorems known as Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, superposition theorem and the maximum power transfer theorem. So it was the French engineer M. L. Thevenin who proposed this theorem in 1993 for the first time and with the help of this theorem any complicated network just like if we have this complicated network shown in this box having the two terminals A and B this complicated network can be replaced by this uh, equivalent circuit shown in this dotted rectangle which consists of a voltage source called as Thevenin voltage source or equivalent voltage source in series with an equivalent resistance called as Thevenin resistance. So in both these situations, it is observed that the voltage appearing across the terminals A and B in the given network or in this Thevenin equivalent circuit. Or the, if we connect a load resistance across the terminals A and B here or A and B here, then the current flowing to this load resistance RL when there is the given complicated network to the left of the terminals A and B or whether there is uh, that complicated network is replaced by this Thevenin equivalent circuit the current going to the low resistance remains C. So, this theorem is useful in order to find out the power or the voltage or the current across any component in the given network. So, uh, according to this theorem, any complicated network containing the sources of EMF and other components such as say registers can be replaced by an equivalent circuit by an equivalent circuit consisting of a constant voltage source or equivalent voltage source or that is also called as Thevenin voltage source in series with an equivalent resistance called as Thevenin resistance. So uh, that is the Thevenin theorem. So here we have this uh, box or block 
containing the given complicated network. And this complicated network can be replaced by a simple series circuit consisting of a voltage source in series with an equivalent resistance called as terminal resistance. So, uh, the voltage appearing across the terminal can be here or here. Or if we connect the load resistance across the terminal C and V, the current going through the load resistance in both these situations remains C. So that is how uh, that is the Thevenin theorem. We can state the Thevenin theorem like this: any two-terminal linear network containing sources of EMF and the resistances can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a voltage source called as Thevenin voltage source VTH in series with a single resistance, equivalent resistance called as Thevenin resistance. Now the question arises, what should be the values of Vth or V equivalent and what should be the value of R equivalent or RDH? This Thevenin voltage source Vth or equivalent voltage source V equivalent is the open circuit voltage measured across the terminals A and B. Vth is nothing but the open circuit voltage measured across the terminals A and B. And this theory resistance or equivalent resistance is the resistance measured across the terminals A and B when all the sources of EMFs in the given network have been replaced by their internal resistance. So if all the sources of EMFs in the given network are replaced by their internal resistances, the, all the sources of EMFs are killed for their EMF, retaining their internal resistance in the network or in the circuit. And if we view this network backwards from the open terminals E and B, whatever the resistance that we observe, that we appear, that we calculate, that is the value of R equivalent or RTH. So that is the Thevenin's theorem. Now we want to prove this Thevenin's theorem. So let us see how to prove this Thevenin's theorem. So to prove this Thevenin's theorem, let us consider we have a network consisting of a source of EMF E in series of which a resistance R1 is connected, a resistance R2 is connected and we have these terminals A and B. So this is the resistance R1, this is the resistance R2 and the source of the energy B. And across the terminals A and B, a load resistance RL is connected. Across the terminals A and B, the load resistance RL is connected. So, uh, this is the given complicated network. So, we can show the complicated network in this box with the terminals E and B. So, this is a two terminal linear network. This is the given complicated network. According to 
Kevin's theorem. This complicated network can be replaced by a sim sim uh, simple circuit, simple series circuit consisting of a constant voltage source or Kevin voltage source in series weak and equivalent resistance or Kevin resistance. This is R T H or R equivalent. This is P T H and to the right of the terminals E and D we can have the load resistance. So the two networks are added as per Kevin's theorem. This simple series circuit consisting of VTH and RTH or V equivalent and R equivalent is called as Kevin's equivalent circuit. This is called as Kevin's equivalent circuit. So, how can we prove this theorem? To prove this theorem, let us find out the current I am flowing through the load resistance RL of the two circuits when, when there is the given complicated network to the left of the terminals E and B and when this complicated network is replaced by this unit equivalent circuit again if we calculate the current I am flowing through this load resistance and if we observe that if we observe that the current flowing through the load resistance RL remains same in both these situations, then we can say that the Thevenin's theorem is verified. Then we can say that the Thevenin's theorem is verified. So let us find out the current going to this low resistance RL. First, when there is the given complicated network to the left of the terminals A and B, and uh, the current going to this low resistance RL when that complicated network is replaced by the current circuit that we obtain lambda. So for the time being we remove this. So let us consider that when we have this complicated network connected to the left of the terminals E and D and to the right of the terminals E and D a load resistance RL is connected. When we switch on the source of E and P, let us consider I is the current drawn from the source. Let us consider I is the current drawn from the source. When this total current R arrives at this junction, certain part of the current will flow through this resistance R2 and certain part of the current will flow through this low resistance R2. For the sake of simplicity, let us consider that the current going to this low resistance RL is IL so that the current going through the resistance R2 will be I minus IL. I minus IL will be the current going to this resistance RL. Now, uh, we are interested to obtain the expression for the current IL flowing through this load resistance in terms of the value of the EMF of the source, the values of the resistance R1, R2 and R2. When there is the given complicated network connected to the left of the terminals A and B. So, uh, when we are interested to obtain the current IL 
with this load is concerned first let us obtain the current i drawn from the source to find out the current i drawn from the source we must first know what is the resistance of the circuit if we observe this given network it appears to us that across the source of ena we have the series combination of r1 and r2 parallel r here the parallel combination of r2 and r is connected in series with the resistance r1 across the source of ena so let us first obtain the equivalent resistance of this parallel combination of r2 and r let us consider rx is the equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of r2 and r rx is the equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of r2 and r so that the value of rx is given by 1 by rx is equal to 1 by r2 plus 1 by r so from this uh, we get rx is equal to r2 r l upon r2 plus r directly related so no need to prove this relation so rx the equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of r2 and r l is given by this expression r2 r l upon r2 plus r so now if we replace this parallel combination of r2 and r l by a single resistance rx now the network becomes like this this is the source of e and f e the resistance r1 and uh, the resistance rx this is the resistance rx so here we will represent the term a so we have this series combination so we can calculate the current i drawn from the source so the current i drawn from the source is given by the expression i is equal to e upon r1 plus rx i is equal to r1 plus e upon r1 plus rx is the total resistance of this circuit now we can replace the value of rx by using this relation so i is equal to uh, e upon r1 plus uh, sorry should be uh, r1 plus rx and rx is r2 r divided by r2 plus r so this is the expression for the total current i drawn from the source so this much current will be drawn from the source of emf when we have the given network connected to the net protein terminals em now uh, in order to obtain the expression for the load current ir how to obtain the expression for ir so for that purpose here we have the resistances r2 and rl connected in parallel to each other so when we have the situation that the two resistors are connected in a parallel with each other it means that the potential differences across the two resistors the resistances are exactly equal so we can say that since R2 is parallel to R1, we can say that potential drop across R2 must be equal to potential drop across R1. So, what is the potential drop across R2? The current flowing through this resistance R2 is I minus I1, and the value of resistance is R2. So the potential drop across R2 is R2 
if you can get pi minus i l. The current will be so distance r l is i l so that the potential drop across no resistance will be i l r l. So if we open up this bracket, we can express it as r2 i minus r2 i l is equal to i l r l. And from this we get the expression for i l to be good. If we transfer this term to the right hand side and take i l common, so here this becomes i l is equal to r2 upon r2 plus r l into r. I L is equal to R two upon R two plus R L into I. So uh, we can use this expression for I here. We have obtained the expression for the total current I. So using this expression for I here, we get the expression for the load current I L when there is a given complicated network connected to the depth of the terminals A e and B. So therefore. I L is equal to R two upon R two plus R L into I, and I is given by the expression E upon E divided by R one plus R two R L. Simplify this. So this is equal to E R divided by R plus R into large bracket. Taking R plus R common or LCM, we can express this as R into bracket R plus R. Plus R two R L multiplied by R two plus R. So this is the expression for the load between I. So here this R two plus R L and this R two plus R L will cancel, so that the expression for the current I L will work out to be. E R divided by R one into bracket R two plus R L plus R two R L. If we open up this bracket and plug the terms of R L together, we can express this as we can express this as uh, R one. Plus R one R two plus R L into bracket R one plus R two. So this is the expression for the load current I. Now dividing the numerator and denominator of this expression by R one plus R two. What do we get? Expression for the load current when there is the given complicated network connected to the left of the terminals A and B. 
Correct? So this is the expression for the load current I will carry through this load resistance on the when the gig, there is given operated driver connected to the left of the rules A and B. Now uh, we want to obtain the expression for the current flowing through this load resistance when this computed network is replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a constant voltage source called as Thevenin voltage source or equivalent voltage source in series with an equivalent resistance called as Thevenin resistance. So let us obtain an expression for the load current. Now, uh, remember this expression for the load current. I L is equal to E R two R two divided by R plus by the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Now, uh, when this complicated network is replaced by the Thevenin equivalent circuit, the circuit reduces to be formed. This is R D H or R equivalent. This is P D H or P equivalent. The terminals A and B. So uh, we have said that uh, <coughs> what is the value of phi th? The value of phi th is nothing but the open circuit voltage measured across the terminals A and B. So if we remove the low resistance RL from the terminals E and B, the network we get is of this type. The network we get is of this type. So we have this source of E, the resistance R1, and the resistance R2 connected here, and the terminals A and B are open. The terminals E and B are open circuit. When we remove this load resistance from the terminals E and B, the terminals E and B gets open circuit. So, whatever is the open circuit voltage across the terminals E and B, that gives the value of phi dh. Whatever is the open circuit voltage measured across the terminals E and B, that gives the value of phi dh or phi equal. So, uh, in order to find out the open circuit voltage across the terminals A and B, let us first calculate the total current I drawn from the source in this method. So, in this case, the current I drawn from the source is equal to E upon the total resistance of the circuit is R1 plus R2. The current I drawn from the source is I is equal to E upon R1 plus R2. This is 
the total current drawn from the source when the load resistance is removed from the terminals E and B. So if this is the current I flowing through this resistance R2, in accordance with the Ohm's law, what will be the potential drop across R2? Pd across R2 is nothing but the open circuit voltage across the terminals A and B. Or this is nothing but P D. So open circuit voltage across A B or the potential across across the terminals A and B is nothing but equal to the potential drop across the resistance R2. And this potential drop across R2 that is P A B is nothing but equal to P O C is nothing but equal to I and R2 is nothing but equal to I over R2 because uh, when the load resistance is removed, the same current I flow through both the resistors R1 and R2. So using this expression for I here, we get P A B equal to P O C is equal to P R2 upon R1 plus R2. So P A B equal to P O C is equal to P R2 upon R1 plus R2. And as per the statement of the theory sphere, this open circuit voltage measured across the terminals A and B is nothing but equal to P D H. Equivalent or R is known by this expression. 
this is the expression for VTH. And now, knowing the expressions for VTH and RTH or are equivalent, we can now find the current I am flowing through the low resistance when the given complicated network, the electron determinants P and B is replaced by this thymine equivalent circuit. This is the thymine equivalent circuit which consists of the series combination of PTH and RTH. So, uh, in this case, what will be the current going to this low resistance pi? The same thing, since here we have the series combination of RTH and RL connected in series with the thymine equivalent voltage source. Uh, the current I drawn from the source is same as the current IL going to this load distance. So IL will be equal to I will be equal to what? PTH divided by RPH plus I. I am in this case will be equal to VTH upon RPH plus I. So using these expressions for VTH and RPH here we get the expression for I am to be equal to VTH is given by PR2 divided by R1 plus R2 whole divided by RL plus RTH. RL plus RTH is R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is the current flowing to the given load resistance when there is the thymine equivalent circuit connected to the left of the terminals P and B. Say this is equation number 1. This is equation number 2. So we have obtained the expression for the load current when there is the given complicated network to the left of the terminals P and B given by this equation 1 and when this complicated network is replaced by thymine equivalent circuit and to the right of the terminus P and B, if we connect the same low resistance RL, the current current to this low resistance RL is given by this equation. So if we compare these two expressions for the load current, once when there is a given complicated network connected to the left of the terminus A and B, and when this complicated network is replaced by this thymine equivalent circuit, also that to the left of the terminus and B, we have thymine equivalent circuit. The current flowing through the low resistance IL, the uh, low resistance IL in both these situations, since it's one and the same, we can say that the Thevenin's theorem is verified. We can say that the Thevenin's theorem is verified. So that is about the Thevenin's theorem. So we will stop it for today, uh, for this video and we will continue how to uh, theorize this uh, uh, given complicated network by using the uh, Thevenin's theorem that we will see in the next video. Okay. Thank you.